so go nine at nine. All right, number nine. Let's start with two more from the Twitter feed Mental UK headlines. Okay. First one. It says, Seagull bludgeoned to death by pole-wielding pole pensioner who said bread is for swans. Whoa. Wow. And from the mirror, thug punches newborn baby in the head in Tesco, then says, sorry, I thought she was a doll. Oh, my gosh. Wow. We should note the baby is fine. So yeah. You can Those laugh. are some headlines. Yeah. yeah. Boy. All right. Number eight. Here are some great black and white photos of Maine woodsmen. Ah. From the 40s. Oh, the yeah. photographer yeah. for the Office of War Information was with these guys as they guided thousands and thousands of heavy logs down the New England River to pulp and paper mills in neighboring states. But let's just sure. soak it all yeah. in here. Yeah, these guys. Now, are these all the right, guys that do the log man, rolling, the walking yeah, on the logs? Look how happy he is. Look how happy he is. Yeah. yeah. Mm. She knew all of these guys were 24 years old. <laughs> yeah. just, uh, you know, it was a different time. Yeah, it was, it was, it was hard living. Hard yeah, living. It was an hard main living. Oh. This guy's right out of high school. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, these videos of singing bowls are getting millions, uh, millions of views on TikTok. Influencers are. Where does the singing begin? Uh, these artists use a special mallet to gently bring the bowls to life and evoke a calming sensation to help you meditate. Huh? The ancient musical instrument has been around for thousands of oh. years, listening to their slowly fading sounds. Oh, the silence that. that follows is supposed Look to be that, that's, that's a lot of feet. Right oh, yeah. God. I misunderstood. Too many feet. A lot of feet. Big no. gong there in the middle. Everyone had socks on, I'd be on board. You know, yeah. I could probably you don't use like it. feet with some socks on. It's fine. Okay. It's just the, you know, it's a lot of. So sweaty, wet, nasty socks don't bother you. Yeah. That does, oh. but <laughs> it's a whole nother okay. thing now. That's a different. Wow. Yeah. Just Has a this been your whole life, like since you're a kid, like the, the feet fan. thing? Yeah, no. Don't really? like them. Bizarre. Anyway. It's that we've crossed that boat yeah. a few times. Should we go on or do yeah. we <laughs> no, move on? Okay. Go All right, time for number six. Uh, we're looking at the fascinating bears. history behind gummy bears. The early versions of gummy bears were known as Turkish oh, delight bears. and oh, yeah. wine drops. Mm. But then German candy maker Hans Reigel went out on his own, and in 1920, he created the now famous company Haribo. Uh, which you see in all the stores. The new company was the first to shape the chewy candy bears in, or candy into little bear shapes. The idea pays homage to the famous dancing bears of Germany who weren't really dancing. They were actually avoiding the pain of hot plates put oh. under their feet, oh, which was a cruel practice kidding? that has since been outlawed in Germany and around the world. Wait, how do you get a bear to sit still to do that? Yeah, That's yeah. the real question. Yeah. A lot of history that played yeah. out in that story oh, there. Wow. Wow. No was going to go there. Yeah. A lot was really going on there. That. Yeah. Uh, number five, we're not afraid to revisit the important topics like the tuck or not to tuck. Yeah. Thanks to a Curb Your Enthusiasm episode, the question of whether or not men should tuck their sweaters into their pants is being debated again. Mm. Apparently a number of men do the tuck. They say it creates a straighter line through the trouser and down into the hips area, making I'm, you look slimmer. Are men saying trousers still? Oh, it's a fun word to do. Yeah. <laughs> and slacks. Yeah. Uh, but you can't just smush any sweater into your pants. Elegant tucking calls for a finer merino or a cashmere knit if you got yeah. that kind of cash. None of those beefy cable knits, and yeah. you also have to have the right pants on. If your slacks, see, are too clingy and have a flat front, you're gonna look like you have a gut. Yeah. Mm. And you don't want that at all. So no. There's a lot of rules, but you know, I'm not gonna pass judgment on anyone who does the talk or doesn't yeah. do the talk, but there are a lot of rules yeah. both ways. There. Well, Everybody and my daughter saw I was wearing my sweater or my what kind shirt. Of I kept was it? 
I, you know, they said this with the shirt and and the sweater. It was a light. It was light enough to tuck okay. in. But they okay. said you're just supposed to tuck in one hand, one hand and a little bit in the front in the belt, right. and the rest is supposed to hang out. It's kind of yeah. like oh. I didn't have time. I just yeah, yeah. I just ran yeah. out of the Jostled house. Jostled look. Yeah, and so that's huh. how they wear them. So now Boy. I'm just like, well, yeah. do you tuck in the whole front and yeah. leave the back, or just one hand? I think you got to do what feels right to you. I mean, Paul yeah. preaches that all the time. Fashion yeah. is all about it's a personal choice. Yep. One size does not always fit all right. That's right. You do what feels right. You, as he would say, you, you do, do you, you, boo. boo. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. All right, number four. Here's a cool one. The package designers made these cartons so that they could look pretty cool as they're stocked in the supermarket. Uh. Look at that. A designer named Vera Zareva was part of this project, and we like it around here because we love whimsy. Oh, yeah. But, but boy, oh, boy. That is creative. That is very cool. Right? But that's really counting on some cooperation from the people at the grocery store. You're yeah. darn right. <laughs> when you're making minimum wage and you're stocking the shelves, yeah. I don't think you're... But think about it. You mix up their routine. I bet they appreciate it. Eh, yeah, do they? Maybe though? for a day. They just want to get one day, and then they want to you know, get the stuff on the show. I think they would have fun yeah. with that. They're like, I do surprise. this all day. It looks like milk or something, right? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Milk. Number three, you guys want to see a uh, cheetah run in slow mo? Yes. Yeah. Okay. This cheetah, we should say, is going 60 miles an hour. So keep that in mind. Okay. Well, it seems like 1,200 frames per second. 60 miles an hour. Wow. Look at that musculature. It's like yeah. watching myself run. Yeah. This is cinematographer Greg Wilson. Mm. Well, you wouldn't and think they'd be running that fast. I mean, 60 no. miles an hour is... It's a beautiful coat, though. It, it Do just you? doesn't look like this motion would yeah, get them going like 60 going 20, miles an hour. Yeah, it looks like it's going 20, 25. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Impressive. That's pretty. Looks yeah. like flying. Look at that right there. That's cool. All right, number two, a coffee table that will change your life. The Sorbo coffee table has Bluetooth speakers for music, charges your phone with a normal USB or a wireless charging pad. It has mood lighting. And probably best of all is a refrigerator. All for just $1,200. Wow. You start thinking about what you pay for a refrigerator, Oh, look how yeah. happy those oh, two man. gentlemen were. Man cave? Right. If I have a man cave with that, that'd be yeah. wonderful. You got a man cave at the old Ponce house? It's not a cave. It's a place where you can go down there, it's, sit, it's drink not beer, a cave. and pass gas. Yeah. What you got down it's there? It's opposite. It's, uh, I call it the man perch. It's my third floor. Oh, yeah. And I've got like a, like my music studio up there and like a big uh, TV. Just like every man cave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have my baby grand up there. You know how most fellas do. <laughs> I go in there, crack open yeah. a bottle of white wine, and yeah. just tickle the ivory for a little while. Uh, <laughs> I knew I walked, I walked right into that one. Yeah, you know, okay, so that's all right. right. Okay. Uh, number yeah. one, last week, Larry told us how Kojak's uh, Terry Savalas was from his hometown of Lynn, Massachusetts. Yeah. And in 1975, Telly released the spoken word recording of the song If, which was a hit by the band Bread. And there is an amazing video. All right. Boy, it looks different there. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, well, no, well. There he is. He's got my blouse on. Wow. <laughs> that chain. If a picture <laughs> paints a thousand words, <laughs> then why can't I paint you? That is daughter? Beautiful. The words will never show. The you I've come to know. Oh. Not enough smoking in <laughs> songs anymore. No. And if a face yeah, didn't he, didn't he could launch a thousand yeah, Kojak. ships. Kojak. Yeah. Oh, I just said that, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I don't then care. where am I going? Roger. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm having a day. Boy, this he is was beautiful. He, was There's he no the one hope. who kind of really made the open shirt and the chains oh, wow. thing a thing? Well, they, oh, my. Oh, second is getting yeah. interesting. Oh, boy. You're getting ready to send her off to college. Stop it. 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 Stop it.
Oh. I mean, she does look 20 years younger yeah. than oh, What is easy. going on? Yeah. Come on. All right, let's get back to the lyrics. Here we go. If a man could be two places at one time. Uh -huh. This is one of the great lyrics of all time. Will I be with you? Isn't that good? Amazing. Tomorrow and today. It's graduation day. Besides you. Yeah. <laughs> Grandma's at the other end of the table. Uh oh, oh you're going to eat her hand. I thought it was going to be a place there. Stop. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. <laughs> wow. Spinning. Well, Jim Rummy with an asterisk. Mm, asterisk. Yeah. You got it. Oh, the cards on fire. Yeah. This is younger and younger with each I new scene. Oh, in. put those cards away. Yeah, come You've on. Got it's time to study. To study. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got just the subject oh. for you. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, how you doing? Uh, oh, boy. Look at how romantic this is. Boy, we are close to a nip slip right there. <laughs> 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 yeah. oh, oh, the good God. part's coming. Is, yes. Quiet. No. Oh, you're going to get her on the bus. Wait, is he in his bathroom? <laughs> 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 Don't forget your love, sweetie. Go away. Oh, that's oh, real. Oh, man. Now that's the way music that's what, should yeah. be. Yeah. That was number one in Europe for 10 weeks. That wow. Telly Savalas yeah. part mm. version? That's what the word machine's telling yeah. me. Because the original by Bread is a good song on the 70s soft rock. You think you know? so? Yeah, we'll play that it here for Jerry Oh, I've never heard it. Here, you'll hear it now. Bob, an audio's got, got it queued up. up. Yeah. Hear it. Uh, this is Vegas. Is this the girl singing? <laughs> <laughs> That's a high voice. It's a, man, it's a man from Bread who has a, just a high pitched voice, yeah, but it's, oh, yeah, it's lovely. It's on my slow jams. I prefer the smoking <laughs> version. Yeah, I like the other one better, honestly. Yeah. Boy, it was. Smoking. Oh, but but his daughter going off to college. That's not, it's for, you forever change the narrative. <laughs> we love history. They had a weird relationship. Let's just. Oh, boy. Okie doke. All right, that's the 9 and 9, I hope. I don't feel 